Now they're new to the last of us first team. Everyone in it is 100% fully fit. So let's go. We are playing against Aston Villa at home. There is no reason at all for me to faff around at the start of this video. No transfers, no nothing. The videos from now on are going to be solely focused on the games. What everyone wants to see. Gallagher. One more. If you don't score, I'll not be very impressed. That was shambolic. Got a score here. Thank you. There we are. We can get into the game now with peace of mind that Conor Gallagher can hit the target from 15 yards out. Here we go. Sheffield United versus Aston Villa. Next two, next game after the international break. Man City away. So that's a test. We really need three points here because, let's be honest, that oh, Connor, <laughs> lovely little touch as well. Oh, well, that was not a lovely little touch. Chalaber. Carrius is back in. Oh, poor. Sloppy start. Oh my word, they should be 1-0 up, make no doubt about that. Oh no, it's Schmeichel in goal. Max Lowe, ref. Here's Conor Gallagher. Enoch and Wepu. Chalabert. Here's Jaden Bogle, do what he does best. Good ball in, Gallagher win it. Burgers ball to Bogle. Bogle wins a corner. So we'll get. Is he not a weapon any good at taking set pieces? He's not bad, but I'd rather have Conor Gallagher. Although it said he not a weapon was better, I didn't know he was that good. Weapon. They're hitting it to Chalaba. Oh, yes! The first new signing to get a goal is the centre back, and that is not the finish of a centre back. Well, wow. Well, Enoch and Weppu with the assist, heading it down. Shalom, I don't want a touch, don't need a touch. 75 rated centre back. You're having me fuck it on. Trevor Chalaber. <laughs> Rivaling John Joe Shelby's strike from the last episode. 1 0 up. Uh, wow. <laughs> Trevor Chalaber. Second game for Sheffield United, first goal, and fucking hell. I mean, he's, he's, he can play in midfield. He is a, like a, oh hello, caught there. Still thinking about how fucking good that strike was. Then he's, oh, really good save from Casper. Fucking hell, what a, what a start to this game. What a strike. Schmeichel with a save. Might be 34, 36, can't remember. H4 rated though, he will do for a couple of seasons. Well, this season and maybe next. That was not very good. O'Connell, always in the right place. Rian Brewster. Is that Rian Brewster? Yeah, it is. And space here on the flank. Well, I see that run from Lee from Say. Oh, it's nearly made it through. Not quite. Chalaber. Fantastic and tackle the at the other end. Scoring, defending. Fantastic. Brewster plays a 1 2 with Bogle. Nice ball. Bogle's ball. Oh, ah. And Wepu does well to win it back. Thought I could find my way through that gap there with Max Lowe. Saliba. I'm happy with how we've defended this season. Uh, clean sheet against West Ham. Clean sheet so far here. Uh, only conceded two against Chelsea. Uh, only conceded one against Warsaw. And the strike against Warsaw was just ridiculous. 
Should have really kept a clean sheet and Kasper Schmeichel keeping one here because that was a ridiculous save. And the short option for Bird. Trevor Chalaber sort of winning the match at both ends of the pitch. At least we say with a great ball to Rian Brewster. Rian Brewster should wait for options. Oh, he's turned his man. That's far to too easy. Defended well. Well, as the stats show us, Aston Villa have had most of the play, but it means lucky, lucky Aston Villa. Created, particularly in the wide areas. Up to this point, they've been too easy to defend against. Lucky again, Aston Villa. Sneaking somehow through the legs of Enoch and Wethu. Nothing I can do there. I put myself in the perfect position to deal with it. In EA just right now, we're going to sneak this through his legs. Saliba. Forces him out wide enough. That's two. Wrong player. He somehow got it, though. Very good, because that was meant for William Saliba. Kind of Gallagher. Gene Bogle, best be on side. If the ball is perfect. He was on side. But the Bogle ball wasn't so perfect. <laughs> Solid half of football, 1 0 up. Thanks to a Trevor Chalaber screamer. But let's be honest, no one expected to go in. <laughs> no one expected that. I didn't. Absolutely not. Nothing real to say. Very happy with the half. Max Lowe's tired. Bring on Ben Osborne. Well, here's Ben Osborne's first touch. Great ball out to him from Trevor Chalaber. Sander Hamp. Shit ball from Ben Osborne, he'd come fucking off again if that's what you're going to produce. O'Connell, and he's caught napping. Not that time, well done. Really Made up for it. And it's gone out for a throw in. Options in the middle. Good. John again. Well done, O'Connell. Oh, well done, O'Connell again. Saliba. Finds the ball down the line to Ben Osborne, who just lets it run out. I'm asking him to run towards it, and EA are just like, now nah, we're going to run him in the opposite direction. Of course you are. Oh, look at him. Play good football, but we are. Keep oh, they're so lucky, though. I tell you what. There's so many like passes that are just like through. Like, I put my player in the right position. Well done. Trevor Chalaber again. Sander Berger. <laughs> Lovely from Sander Berger. And Ben Osborne, Osborne is going to keep that in. Well done. From which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Osborne strikes a good strike. It bounces just in front of the keeper. Press. And into the last 30 minutes Jack O'Connell. Back to Kasper Schmeichel. First Premier League game for well, Sheffield United, and he's got a clean sheet so far. Second Premier League game, and Trevor Chalaber's got a goal, and he's also fucking fatigued. Yeah, he plays centre defensive mid, the centre mid, and it was the shot of that sort of player. Egan can come in. We'll bring on Ross Barkley for Conor Gallagher, and we'll do that. If you'd have told me, and Wethu, Barkley, um, Mulder, or Shalaba, who's going to get the first goal, I'd have probably said and Wethu or Barkley. I think anyone would. If you told me it would trailer for Chalaba, header from a corner, fair enough. Not a fucking 30 yard powitzer, you know. But expect the unexpected on this career mode. Gallagher as well. Not well enough. Well, that is his last involvement of the game. Went to block the shot and he ran into the tackle. It's hardly a foul. I'm on the floor. He runs into my face. Conor Gallagher, Trevor Chalaber coming off. Ross Barkley and John Egan coming on. Oh, it's a perfect penalty from Danny Ings. It's 1-1. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace. Great crossfield pass goal. on the volley. So Osborne ball, just chests it down like it's nothing. He not can wet through. Nice turn. Right. What the fuck was that from Lee Smoussey? 20 minutes remaining. And the pass could do damage. 
using all his defensive acumen to get rid ahead. good from Casper Schmeichel who say Barkley Ah, late tackle there. It's going to be a red card, I reckon, for John Egan. I'll, pff, yellow. I'll tell you what, I'll go away with one there. Not very often I'll admit to that, but I'll go away with one there. Danny Ings or John McGinn, please shoot, because if you do, it's easy for Casper Schmeichel. Thank you very much. It's not even, after, not even easy. You don't even have to do a ball to William Saliba from Casper Schmeichel. And nice. Ref. That's a poor effort. That's a yellow as well for Danny Ings. Well done, referee. Tell, tell you what, I've been consistent. Referee's been okay this game. Here's Egan. Berger. Oh, it's shocking from Berger. Turns like a tank there. Sobel, come on, come over. Well done, Barg. Berger. Barger. Bergwa. Johnny Egan. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Sheffield United facing Manchester City. Just chopping Go on. Hold on. Really aye, aye, aye. He's trying to get us out. But I can't. I don't trust my players passing. I trusted Jane Bogle's pace. But it wasn't really good. There's only one thing I can do to get us out here. That is fucking whack it upfield. Brewster. Oh, Moussé, make up effort, you lazy cunt. Well, if they get the winner now, these oh. fans will go absolutely wild. What an atmosphere we've got inside this stadium. And still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important at this juncture. You can't really take it like that. That'll do. Jock O'Connell will take a yellow card there. Is it going to be a yellow card? Yeah, all three of my centre-backs are on yellow cards. Ben Sabiani. John McGinn and Ben Sabiani over it. It's going to be John McGinn. And it's shit. Take <laughs> that in the grand scheme of things. Because they had such a good angle and opportunity there to get, excuse me, a half decent ball into the box. All we've got left is injury time. And there's going to be a total of William Saliba yellow card of injury time. Three minutes of added time here. Jack O'Connell, three minutes. Here is Ben Osborne, come on. Fuck's sake. That'll do us. Oh my word, look, here we are. What heroic, heroic defending last ditch tackle. John Egan saves us a point. This is a ridiculously good tackle. I'll tell you what, the most annoying thing is. It's not going to show you that. It's only going to show you the free kick that went to my lover. What we can show you though, one more time, is this Trevor Chalaber. Absolute view. Enoch and Wefu heads it down to Trevor Chalaber. Hits it first time. See, half volley. Heads it there, down. One bounce. And is it coming back to him? Bang! Ho oh, ho! That is. Fucking incredible. Trevor Chalaber with his first goal for the club. A point. And to be fair, look at those stats. We were crap today. We had two shots. <sighs> Work to be done, definitely. But a point, a winner, draw, and defeat. Fuck off, John Joe. Um, next episode is going to be Manchester City away. Could have really done with a win there because those next two games aren't going to be as easy. Right, here we are, transfer deadline day. As far as I'm concerned, there is nothing to be done here. One thing I haven't heard yet is the um, future of Slater. I accepted an offer a while back from Huddersfield, I believe, 1.3 mil, with a 66 rated player. But I've heard nothing at all. I've got another thing in my office though, so let's have a quick goosens at that. Hugay loan offer. No, sorry. I have to rotate the squad, John Joe. Come on. 
uh, Enzo Hugay loan offer. He is part of my plans. Slater gone. Slater's still there. Blondell's gone up another rating, what's very good. This video might be a tad longer, it won't be 19 minutes long, but it might be a tad longer. But then once transfer deadline day is over and done with, there's no reason to keep videos ticking over. So we'll get back to the nice 13, 14 minute quick snappy games in the video and that's it. Fucking hell, Leeds signed Alaba, Zaniolo, Gavelin. They've got rid of Junior Furbo and Jack Harrison. Let's just have a look at what Liverpool's done before we end this transfer deadline day. I always like to see what Liverpool's done. Brought in Daniel Marlin, Ilkay Gundogan, Romero and Saul. Got rid of Mikel Marino, Tiago Alcantara and Jordan Henderson. That'll do us. Mad. Slater transfer offer. Why have you made it now the window's closed? 1.25 million from FC Vizella. We'll accept that. Regan Slater. Happy for him to go. Obviously, not in the world if he doesn't. But happy for him too if he does. Anyway, Northern Ireland FA. Why is that come up? I didn't even press save. Maybe I caught a ball by mistake. Northern Ireland FA. Nah. Absolutely not. Uh, and I don't think anything else at all should come up interesting now. So I'm going to end the video there. Thank you so much indeed for watching. A truly a up. Here we are. Change his position to right wing back. There we go. Jobs are good. Okay, where was I? Ah, yes. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed for watching. Uh, as you can see, the next game is not going to be an easy one. God help us. We can't beat fucking Aston Villa. That's this episode. We don't have much chance of beating Man City next episode. But how this game works is often. Just like that, I will smash City and I'll lose to fucking, you know, Villa and to be fair, Chelsea, but Chelsea are a good side. Anyway, that's enough of me blabbering. I'll see you next episode for Nancy.